it's Nicole here. Uh, today's video is for some polishes and a few extra items for that are coming to the Mental Health Awareness Box. This box will go on sale on January 29th on the Zombie Claw Polish website. I will have all of the sale details down below and in my blog posts. Let's just get into the swatches because this is going to be a long one. This first polish is by Color Spectrum Polish and it's called You're Not Alone. It's described as a green to blue thermal with iridescent flakies that shift from orange to pink to gold to green to blue with a sprinkle of holographic. The price for this one will be $12.50 and has a cap of 50 bottles. This polish has a great formula that I always expect from this brand. Um, it was on the thinner side, but it was not watery. It kind of applied similar to a jelly. It is a little transparent, as you can see here on the nail, um, but it looks really beautiful. The day I was swatching this, my hands were running pretty cold, so you can't really see the warm state too well. Um, I'll have swatch photos that show the warm state color a lot better. But yeah, my hands were just really cold this day, so you're mostly just seeing the uh, cold state here in my um, live swatch. This did apply evenly and easily. I didn't have any issues with formula or application. Removal will be pretty easy. I always soak off, so I soaked this off and it came off perfectly fine with acetone. And my swatch photos include glossy top coat. Sorry, almost forgot. I used three coats for my photos as well as here in this video. Next up is a polish by Danny Viana and it's called It's Okay Not To Be Okay. This is described as a sage green crelly base with copper aurora shimmer and copper iridescent flakes with white glitter. It's priced at $12.50 and has a cap of 35 bottles. This is a really interesting color. I wouldn't personally call it a sage green. It seems to lie somewhere between a green and a khaki. I don't personally love the base color, but paired with the flakies, it looks really, really beautiful on the nail, and it's definitely a unique color to my collection. I think this will hit a lot of people as a Prugly polish, but I love Prugly polishes, so I do love this one a lot. It's really beautiful. It is pretty opaque here, so I only used two coats for both my swatch photos and my video here. Removal will be a little tricky if you decide to scrub this one, so I re recommend soaking it off to get it off faster. It's really beautiful. Next up is a polish called Heartland by Indie Polish by Patty Lopes. It's described as a turquoise jelly base with crystal flakies and micro silver hollow glitters. It's priced at $13 and has a cap of 35 bottles. I am a sucker for turquoise jelly polishes, so I really love this one. It's just a beautiful shade of turquoise. Um, this is a jelly, so it does need to be built up. It is still a little bit sheer in three coats, so there will be some visible nail line, but just the flakies and the little hollow glitters just make this look so beautiful, so I don't personally mind. This could be used over like a cream to make this more opaque, but I think it looks beautiful on its own. I used three coats for my photos, plus top coat. It did not dry down um, overly textured, so I only needed one coat of top coat. So there was no noticeable texture after top coating, but it, you did feel a little bit of grit to it um, before top coating. Nothing in here is too difficult to remove. I soaked this off with no issues with acetone. Here are my swatch photos. I prefer this one glossy, but it looks really cool matte. Next up is Jen and Berry's Don't Believe Everything You Think. This is described as a pastel blue-green with subtle holographic shimmer, think luminosity, not crazy rainbows, with a splash of teal and fuchsia micro glitter, gunmetal and silver holographic micro flakies. This has a price of $11 and has a cap of 75 bottles. 
This has a really great formula. You can see it's very opaque here on the first coat. I did two coats from my swatch video, but I think when I went back to take photos, I decided to add a third coat because I had some transparency on the tip of my nail. But I think most people would be good in two coats with this polish. It spreads evenly and really easily. It's really, really beautiful. The holographic shimmer in this does give it some luminosity, but not like BAM rainbows like the description says. Um, I did see some rainbows just sitting at my desk, but not like a lot of rainbow. It's a really beautiful polish. The um, micro flakies and micro glitters don't give off much, if any, texture. Next up is Lacquer is in the Air with We Got Your Six. This is described as a muted green base with hollow pigment and UCC flakies. It's priced at $12.50 and has no cap. We got your six applies really evenly and easily. It is a sheer polish. You will have some visible nail line with this one. Um, the green base is kind of like a greenish with like a hint of teal, I would say. I feel like it's looking a little bit more blue leaning um, in this video. But in person, it's definitely green. It's a really gorgeous polish. Um, the base color itself doesn't really do much for me, but the holographic is very strong, and the flakies are absolutely gorgeous. And hollow and flakies are like literally my favorite things in polish. So I liked it for those, but I didn't love the base color. Um, in hindsight, I think I would have liked to try this also as a topper because it's just very sheer and I think it would have been cool to see how this looked as a topper but it's definitely sheer enough that you can use it as a topper so it's definitely an option if you don't like visible nail line. I used three coats for my video as well as my swatch photos. Uh, this little live shot includes glossy top coat. My swatch photos include glossy top coat and matte top coat. This will not be difficult to remove, but again, I soaked it off and I didn't have any issues. This next polish is by Sassy Sauce Polish and it's called You Got This. It's described as a brown sugar shifty base with sparkles that sparkles gold, green, and red with similar shifting ghost and UCC flakies. The price for this will be $12.50 and it has a cap of 30 bottles. Uh, this polish is described as a brown sugar shifty base, but in the bottle, as well as I feel on the nail, it's more of like a taupey beige. And the, the shimmer is what gives it the, the brownish goldish look. It's really beautiful, and I personally love gray bases with shimmer and flakies, so I really love this one. It applies evenly and easily. It's extremely opaque, and the flakes spread out really evenly. The shifty shimmer is very strong in this one, and I was seeing all of the colors in the description on the nail while I was applying this. This was my first time trying this brand, and just absolutely gorgeous. So I use three coats here for my live swatch as well as my swatch photos. My swatch photos and this live shot here include both glossy top coat and matte top coat. This one is just really gorgeous. I really love this one. Next up is Sweet and Sour Lacquers Reach Out. Reach Out is described as a purple to blue to teal multi-chrome in a holograph holographic base. It's priced at $12.50 and has a cap of 75 bottles. This is pretty sheer as you can see here on the first coat, so you will need to build this one up, but it is definitely worth it to build this one up. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so it has a good formula, not too thick or too thin. The shimmer I was seeing on the nail, I was seeing like a pink, a purple, a blue, and also some green just sitting at my desk. It's very strong shifty shimmer, and the holographic is also very strong in this polish. 
I did end up going in for a thicker final coat on this one just to make sure that it was 100% opaque. I still had some transparency. You can see on my um, where the extension is on my nail. I still had some transparency at some angles, but I think natural nails will be 100% opaque. Maybe just a hint of visible nail line, but pretty much opaque. This polish is extremely holographic and extremely color shifty. I have really been digging polishes by this brand lately, by the way, just to get that out there. And here in my swatch photos, you can see just how holographic this one is. It's so beautiful. This polish is by What Addiction Polish and is called Courageous Journey. It's described as a watermelon red base with a touch of hollow sparkle and a variety of flakes. It's priced at $13 and has a cap of 35 bottles. Courageous Journey was pretty sheer. Um, I originally was going to use three coats for this one, but it just wasn't quite opaque enough for me. And on my ring finger, I decided to swatch this over a cream. However, I picked a, um, um, a neon polish. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. Um, it's Orly's Hot Pursuit. And I should have picked a different shade because the neon just kind of throws this one off, in my opinion. Anyway, Cour Courageous Journey has a great formula. It's not too thick or too thin. The flakies in the Hollow Sparkle are very beautiful in this one, especially mattified. It applies very nicely and very evenly. It's just on the sheer side, but it does give a nice wash of color. I think this is really beautiful. I especially like this one mattified. I just wish I had picked a different color for my ring finger so that you all could see the flakies just a little bit better. I think this would look good over pretty much any base color since it is on the sheer side, but over black would be really cool. And here are my swatch photos. I really like this one matte. I just, I don't know, that neon is just really bugging me. <laughs> the final polish I have from this box is by Zombie Claw Polish and it's called Frayed Uniform. It's described as a black to turquoise thermal loaded with an array of iridescent flakies. It's priced at $13 and does not have a cap. Frayed Uniform had a great formula. It applies like a jelly, so it is on the sheer side. I found that the turquoise tended to look a little grayed out, if that makes sense. Like, it's not a bright turquoise. It's a more of a muted turquoise. The iridescent flakes are very color shifty and very pronounced. The day that I was swatching this one, my hands had finally warmed up, and so you can definitely see the warm state and the cold state in the at the same time on my nails here. I found that the in the cold state it seemed like more of a very dark gray with like a hint of a greenish hue I guess you could say to it but it's very beautiful. In three coats I still had a bit of visible nail line even in the cold state but I don't know I just love this one it's really beautiful and I think even though it's a little sheer it still looks really great. And here are my swatch photos. This one looks so cool matte. Like, I, I really love this one matte. So, before I start showing off of the other items that come in the box, I will address that, yes, I have a broken nail over here. I, I just broke it a few minutes ago, so... Okay, then. Anyway, so this box does come with quite a few other items. And let's just start showing all of them. I will have a demo of the stamping later on. Also, this box also comes with a stamping plate as well as a dog collar. I did not get those items, but they will be available on the website. Just Ducky Designs will have this really sparkly necklace that they're calling Flying High available. This will be $20 and has a cap of 15 necklaces total. At the time of making this voiceover, I do not have in front of me how long the necklace is or what the material it is, it is made out of. I believe that the actual charm area is a glitter resin 
And then I don't know what the material is for the rest of the necklace. If I find out, I'll insert that here. When wearing it, it hangs down to chest level, chest level on me. And it's really beautiful. Unfortunately, I only have one picture of myself wearing this one. My, my chain actually broke while I was taking photos, but that could have been an error on my part. The glitters in this charm are really beautiful. If you like holographic sparkly things, you will love this one. Here is a close-up of the earrings that will be available during the mental health awareness box. These are made by the company Made With Sass. They will be $7 for the pair of earrings and have a cap of 39 pairs available. You can see here that they are pretty flexible. I'm not quite sure what the material is that makes these, but they have a nice sparkle to the front and the back is plain. And here is a close-up and here are some shots of me wearing this, these earrings. While these aren't some things that I would normally wear, I will say that they are very flattering. GP Stamping will have the Stamper Plus Card set available in the box. It will be $11.50 and it has a cap of 98 stampers. It comes with this clear sticky stamper head as well as an opaque neon pink marshmallow stamper head. There will also be a replacement lid and a replacement lens cap on the back for the stamper. And this is how you swap them out in case anyone was curious on how to do it. I found that the opaque stamper head is pretty durable. I think this would be good for um, shrinking and enlarging images, that kind of thing. But you can see here, it's super, super sticky. I really like this one. The stamper also comes with this scraper card. And you can see here it has the GP stamping information on the front and it has this quote here on the back. And now, next up, I'm going to insert a demo of me using the stamper and the card. Okay, so I moved over to my desk. This is my phone's camera here, and I'm going to test out this stamper. So I've got uh, Maniology's Straight Up Black. This is the old bottle. And let's go. I can't pick it up. Also be using this scraper card. It's pretty, it's thin, but it's not too thin. I forgot. And this plate is Maniology's BMXL407. So that has really good pickup. Really good pickup. Then I'm going to use this Twinkle Tea. I forgot what they call this, but yeah, let's clean that off. Oops. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of opaque stamper heads because you can't really see what you're doing, but yeah. Let's pop this out and try the clear head. So we can actually see what's going on. Uh, clean up, clean up. So this is the first time I filmed a, filmed a video like this, so forgive me for everything. <laughs> yeah, I've never tried recording stamping before. Dry, 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 dry. I really like this scraper. And then, can we see that? Hopefully I didn't wait too long. Oh, nope, I didn't. So there we go. Really good pickup. And you can see it's nice and crystal clear. Sorry, I've never filmed a video like this before, so it's kind of a learn it in progress type thing. So yeah, that has really good pickup. It's nice and clear. Thank you for watching, and again, I will have all of the sale information in the description box. Thank you for watching, and bye!